Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhelsia 3. Today we become the Grim Reaper. Reaper of Souls. That, that means we can harvest, use these sights that I have in my hand, that we can use to kill zombies and skeletons to obtain soul shards. Also, we do a ritual to get a sanguine amulet. It, it kind of goes bad, but good at the same time. You'll see. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to continue our Edolan mod. Um, I'm pretty sure now the actual pronunciation is Edolan. Not Edolian or Edolian, it's Edolan. So I'm going to call it Edolan from now on, and if I'm wrong, well, sorry, you just have to live with it. <laughs> but um, I have now learnt a couple of things, and I now know how to utilize. Um, that thing we were trying to make last episode and um, that dark gem but it turns out we actually don't need that for what we were actually planning to do i was reading the wrong thing what we were actually looking at uh where is this uh i think it's in rituals here yes so we actually only need a lesser soul gem not um a shadow gem so we just need four redstone a diamond a basic amulet which we already have from finding it in that little dungeon area in the start of that last episode we also need a potion of harming, so that's not that difficult. Like, a harming potion is what? Just potion of poison with a fermented spider eye, and potion of poison is made by using an awkward potion and a spider eye. We might as well get that started. Um, but there's actually a thing I learned. Like, I noticed in the options, there was this, like, soul enchanter. So out of curiosity, I went to a creative world and had a look at what it was. This thing, with this Reaper's Scythe, with the soul gems we can get, we can enchant our tools with the gems instead. It's quite insane. We can max out our entire tool with max enchantments just by using a soul enchanter. Now, it won't go higher than the base default level of the enchantment. For instance, like sharpness 5, it won't go to sharpness 6. What we can do is enchant two sets of swords and then combine them to double the like, thing, make everything like sharpness six and like looting four. But we have books to do that, but I was testing it out in creative and the numbers just kept going up and it worked in survival mode as well. I was getting like sharpness 20. So I don't know if there's any limit on how many enchantments you can add, but we're definitely going to check this out. But our main goal is to make this amulet and this scythe. And if we have time, we'll use the soul enchanter and we'll check it out. Um, I have now gained extra two hearts. Because I managed to get the other vitality four chest plate combined together to make vitality five. So I'm pretty much got an extra set of hearts. So I've got about 40 hearts if you include each heart being a half heart. So, enough blabbering. Let's get started. We want this goblet because... Uh, after enchanting to the uh, Dark Lord a couple of th times, we have unlocked a new ritual, or a new sign, called a Blood Sign. Beyond blood itself, the Blood Sign symbolizes raw life force and is a component of chance. It is used to describe and manipulate the f uh, force within living things. So, if I grab myself a Mob Imprisonment tool, and we go grab ourselves an animal, um, what animal would be the most sufficient for this? We've got two spiders inside our spawner. Um, I would grab a cow. But let me go see what else there is. Okay, we don't have much of an option, so I'm going to grab a cow. There is a cockroach in there for some reason. How the hell is there a cockroach in at the cows? Okay, I'll just leave him alone. He doesn't seem to be able to get out anyway. Alright, so mushroom should do enough. Like, it should be good enough. Um, so all that's left to do is grab our goblet. Put the goblet right here. Spawn the cow. Kill it. The thing fills with blood. Now we have to wait till night time. So sun's going up. So let me take a quick nap in my hammock. And we should be able to skip the day. And we should be able to do this blood sign uh, prayer. So sun should be going down now. Uh, is there anything else we should grab while we're waiting? You know what actually? Yes there is. 
we can get ourselves the other parts we're going to need. So we need this pewter inlay. So I'm actually going to make four of these. Uh, throw all that stuff away. We're going to need a necrotic focus. Now, necrotic focus is what's going to hold our amulet and allow us to, well, make our sanguine gem. But I'm going to need another brazier. So, I mean, where is it? Brazier. Need blocks of coal. So that will make a brazier. We're also going to need a stone hand. Uh, if I can probably find it in here now, it's the thing. There it is, stone hand. We're going to need six of these hands. Uh, oh, they made seven. Oh, well. But now, it's dark enough. We can actually do the ritual right now. Which will help, because once we complete this, we'll be able to make the unholy symbol. So, if we go in here and go to our signs. Or if we go into, uh, where is it? Sacri sacrifice animal. We need to do the eye... So, the eye, the fork looking thing, and another eye. So, we need to do this, this, this. Chant. And it should take the blood. Oh. Maybe it's not dark enough yet. Uh, we'll give it another minute. It might not actually be dark enough. But over here, this is where we want to set everything up. So, I built this extra altar. So, we put this guy here. Uh, Brazer is going to be one block apart. And then we're going to have hands, which are going to be another block apart, like this. So they're in the, this brazier is in the center of two of each one. Now, uh, if we go back and look at our book and look at, at the ritual, we're going to need four redstone, a lesser soul gem. So this, this is where we need to figure out how to make a lesser soul gem. Now, soul gems. We're going to have to mix these together. So we need two redstone, two lapis. Four soul shards and a quartz. Right. Now, if my dish, what I read was right, and uh, the way we were doing it wrong before is we don't have to wait for the bone meal to absorb into the water. As soon as you throw it in, start stirring, and you need to stir it twice while it's still in there. So I need redstone, lapis, we're going to need quartz, and we're going to need the soul gems. I've only got six of them, so I've only got enough chance for one unless I get more zombies in the area and do that ritual again. Which I probably will end up having to do. So I'll grab my bone meal and I have the redstone. I need a flint and steel. So flint and steel. And we're also going to need... What else was it? Nope, that's everything. Right. Uh, okay, it's dark enough now. Let's try this ritual again. So... No. Will this ritual work? Odd. I don't understand. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering how I got candles, uh, I did read everything wrong. The zombie flesh to make tallow uh, was actually meant to be smelted in a blast furnace, not a regular furnace. So if you wanted to make tallow, um, it needs to be smelted in a blast furnace. That's one thing I overlooked when doing it. Anyway, I moved the, the pot inside. So, I need to grab myself a bucket of water. Uh, I probably should move the sink up here as well. Because that will be an infinite source of water for myself. Alright, let's put a sink right there. Bucket inside. Uh, turn off my magnet. So, the recipe calls for making the soul gem is two redstone, two lapis. Four gems. Okay, so... Two lapis, two redstone, four soul gems, and a quartz. Right, let's try this. So we add these in. It should change. Add this in and stir twice. And then add a quartz in. And please work. It did. Okay, so that's the way you're supposed to do it. That's the way we were doing it wrong. Once we added the bone meal in, we're supposed to stir it, not wait for it to dissolve first. Okay, we've got our soul gem. That's actually everything we need. Uh, oh wait, we need the unholy symbol um, to be able to make this. Actually, do we? We probably actually don't. So, the sanguine... No, we don't. We just need the potion of harmony. Alright, let's go make that. Alright, three bottles. Another wart. I also need to get myself some blaze powder. Uh, blaze. Pop that in here. 
Now we have to wait for this to brew up. Um, I probably should sleep and try and see. Maybe, maybe I have to reset the day again. Let me try that. All right, now it's daytime again. This thing should be about finished. Okay, add the spider eye in to make a potion of poison. And what we'll do then is go over here and try and sleep. Oh, wait, it's too early, yes. Uh, okay, we'll give it another minute or two, and then we'll try again. All right, potion of poison pretty much made. Now we add the fermented spider eye in, and this should create a potion of harming. Now, we don't need to probably bookmark these anymore. I should probably make this magic uh, workbench. So let me quickly make that. I just need some red carpet. So I need some red dye. So one, two, three. There we go. Magic workbench. And our potions are done. Perfect. Now that should be everything we need now to make the sanguine uh, amulet. Alright, let's see if we can sleep in the day again. Yeah, we can. Alright, now it should be starting to turn nighttime in a, in a minute. So... I'm pretty sure we can do this during the day. I need a diamond. Hang on, let me grab a diamond because that's one thing I forgot I need. Uh, diamond, I've got 200 of them. That's actually kind of good. There's no other good way of excavating ores or generating infinite ores. There is a way, but it would be very late game. But anyway, so the, try and follow the layout of, of this now. So we want to add two redstone, a diamond, lesser soul gem closest to this so we want to put the diamond here the lesser soul gem the redstone and the potion of harming goes on what's that and i need this amulet here potion of harming goes on the brazier and the amulet is held in here now i think i just right click this and it starts i don't think i have to activate that i'm pretty sure it just takes it I forgot to put the villagers down. Quick. While well, I still have time. Out of the way. Well. Well, that was something, eh? Wasn't it? I completely forgot about the villagers. Um, oops, <laughs> well, mistakes were made, wait, no, it still made it, wait, what, never mind, it still made the gem, but it used up my life instead, fair enough. Um, I mean, sure. I mean, I just lost a load of levels, but I mean, I'm pretty sure now if as we eat, this will now start storing health. Let's see. So once we get our max health up first, as you can see, we're getting our orange hearts back first. And once that is done, we should be able to see our hearts being stored inside this amulet. Actually, while we wait for our hearts to gen, let's see if we can try and do this again. So, we're looking at in here. Sacrifice animal. So, I, that, that. Um, but may only perform once a day. Okay. Is it not working? We did use animal's blood, so why isn't this working? Do I have to... Replace it and get like a new animal. We don't have any animals around here. This is quite odd. Can I do the other ritual? No. Is it because the goblet is on the table? Do I have to do it without the goblet? Yes. You know what, actually? We might need to upgrade the effigy. That could be the reason why it's not working. The altar's not powerful enough. We need to upgrade the effigy. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of that waypoint. Uh, I don't necessarily want that there. But, let's see. Are we storing hearts? No, because we need to eat. Alright. 
Okay, yes, we can see. Right underneath where the name is, the blue uh, Idolan may, uh, name of the mod, you can see we've gotten a heart. Now we've got half a heart. So I'm pretty sure this door's open an extra 10 hearts for us. Or 20 half hearts. So, cool. Right, we need to probably upgrade our effigy now. So if we go back to Idolan, we need to get this elder statue. But that requires an unholy symbol. And we can't get the unholy symbol until we've completed the blood sacrifice. I might have to rewatch the video and see how this was done because I'm pretty sure you just add the blood into the thing, chant the spell. Maybe I'll have to kill the mob at night as well. I see a cow over there. Hardly a villager would work, would it? Come back here. Don't you run away from me. It says animal blood, so I really highly doubt a villager will work. Never mind, it did. Let's try it one more time. Does it work? We'll try... I'll look up something. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. It could be the candles, actually. I wonder, do these candles not work as well as other candles? Because it says here, like, two power. Maybe I need capacity. Maybe I need lanterns. Okay, I've been sitting here for, I don't know how long now, but I've been waiting for it to turn nighttime, naturally, instead of using the hammock, to see if it'll work then. So, we've still got a few minutes before it turns nighttime. So, while we're waiting, I want to see, if, just quickly, can we make this? Um, seems like it. I just need to make these, so, there we go. And that's it. I need two diamonds, so I can get another diamond. And that should be it. I need a book. I have a book. So, can I just chuck this down here and just make it now? So, obsidian like a crap. Normal enchantment table. Gold on either side. Diamonds top and bottom. Gold inlays and a book. Soul enchanter. Now, as you can see, this thing actually uses soul gems. So, if we look up our... Actually, no, we have our gems right here. So, if we get ourselves just any type of basic sword. And that's got looting four? I've got looting four on that. Okay. Random sword, just for example. See, we have, like, Ender Disruption, Tinted. It only uses one level. But we can keep mass-clicking this. Using up our soul shards to, like, enchant a ton of stuff. It's night time again. Please work. Because if you don't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because this has to work. Oh my god, what is wrong? I'm following the directions correctly. There's one other thing I did see that other people were using, which was a skull. Instead of a um, zombie uh, head, but I don't have a skull. I mean, I could sit here and just kill skeletons on my own. And see if I can get a skull. That's possible. Okay, it's been another night. And I've been killing mobs for about, I don't know, half an hour. Uh, it's been a couple of days, I think. Um, but I did not get a single skull. But I was reading the book. Creeper heads are not counted in here. That's where my mistake is. I hope. We've still got blood. So I've got two zombie heads, because apparently I had two zombie heads. So I replaced the creeper one with a zombie head, and hopefully, hopefully, this works. Please. Ugh. What am I doing wrong? Does I have to be an animal? Is it because I killed a villager? I, I need to go find an animal. Alright, I got a sheep. Dead. Chant. <gasps> it worked! It finally worked! Yes! Okay. Now, because we did that, we've unlocked the soul sign. And now if we go into art... It, yeah. Theurgy, which I think is just theory... Uh, we got Touch of Darkness, so we need I Okay, 
and that is need to be cast on the pewter inlay so say we throw this down on the ground here and we do this so yes okay unholy symbol now if we come in here and we look at our reaper scythe right we need three pewter we need a tattered cloth okay so ask Edolians, we need a tattered cloth we need our two soul shards we're going to need pewter sticks and is that is yes okay so in here souls unholy tattered cloth at an angle top there reapers scythe now oh we actually kept the unholy symbol Oh, if that's the case, let's see if we can... Can we make the next Elder um, thing? Edolan. Where is it? Elder statue. Requires a golden inlay, which is like this. So, golden inlay. Dump all that. I don't need it. We're going to need stone and smooth stone. So, stone. I'm going to need some smooth stone. So, let me smelt up a bit of this. Just need one. So, does this retain its inventory? No. So, I just need one. There we go. And the entire thing is... Dolan. Where is it? So, any type of stone. That and a holy, holy symbol. Boop. Boop. That in the bottom. That in the top. That there. Elder statue. So, we should be able to come up here. Break this put this guy here instead and let's do our chant didn't work now is that because the elder statue is for something else the dark lord is pleased and has revealed to you some knowledge of their otherworldly appearance which you have represented in this statue it should allow you to perform more powerful dark rites than your crude straw one would Okay, we got a stone altar. Oh, okay, we need to replace the whole... This one with a stone one. So if we look in here, a stone altar is going to require soul shards. Okay, we need to get more soul shards, which is no problem now because we have this scythe. Uh, so moon is going down, so it is going to turn daytime soon, but we can sleep in a hammock now that we know what the issue was. You, in theory, should drop... Oh, I just saw one. It just dropped the soul shard. So we can sit here for a couple of minutes and actually harvest some of these now. And I definitely want to get into some new, more machinery in the next episode. Because I want to upgrade this spawner. I want to give it a world anchor, upgrade its speed, and probably its output. But to increase its output, we'd have to go to the end. So next episode, we might work on getting some stuff ready for some adventuring. Now, I'll spend more time off camera killing those mobs to get more soul shards, but in theory, we've got two of them now. So, all we need is stone, smooth stone slabs, and a pewter inlay. So, just grab a couple of them. Actually, I already have two, so I don't need to make any more. So, them on the bottom, this on the top. We've got the stone here, and we've got a pigman problem. I'll deal with him now in a minute. I need to go inside and get our smooth stone that we just smelted. Turn it into slabs in here. So it slabs across the top like that. So stone, soul shards, inlay. Just need two sets of them to make six. We might have enough time if we hurry. So cross the back here. Now we grab our candles, put them back, grab our book, chant. No, I don't think it's classified as nighttime anymore. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it that we can do for now. There's one other thing we haven't unlocked, and I don't know what that is. I'm just thinking, maybe we can cast this spell or that ritual again because we casted the blood sacrifice. So that could be a reason why we're not being uh, given the option to cast that spell again. So 
I might sleep in the hammock again one more time just to see does it work. And if it doesn't, well, we won't have to worry about it. And we'll try and enchant this scythe athlete, actually because we can actually enchant it. And I can't sleep yet. So maybe we'll just kill a few mobs and s sleep the day and see if we can probably get ourselves some decent enchants on this and try and do our ritual with our new improved altar. Alright, starting to go dark again. I'm actually, oh, I probably should have got up to level 30, but doesn't matter. So in here now, I've managed to get about 21 shards, as you can see. I've used quite a lot of durability of this scythe. But, let's see, what do we want first? I, can I? Oh. Okay, I did not know you could do that. So I can already pre-enchant this. And then increase what's on it already. Oh, that's actually that's actually kind of good. I don't actually have a sharpness um, villager. So, unless I can get a sharpness villager, capturing might not be a bad thing to get. Um, you know what, actually? I have plenty of these experience things. Uh, where is it? Uh, I, yeah, these things. I'm actually just going to take a couple of these myself a couple of levels i know i can get a lot more it's easy to get them because of how big of an area we can dig but i want to grab some lapis and i want to enchant this scythe first we get leech and knockback knockback vigilante and leech kind of want to get sharpness on it as well because having sharpness would be quite good uh probably frost aspect Definitely Vorpal. Looting. Probably some Unbreaking. Oh, I should not have done Unbreaking. Looting 2. Uh, leech. Frost Aspect. Looting Tree. Sweeping Edge. Sweeping Edge. Sweeping Edge. Vorpal Tree. Uh, I already have Capturing on it. No, I don't, actually. Uh, okay, some Capturing. Capturing 2. Um, yeah, Soulbound, why not? Uh, as you can see, we're pretty much low on our levels now, so... Um, I might make, actually, a second one of these. Uh, okay, I'm gonna make a second Reaper and add Indestructible on it. How hard were they again? Unholy Symbol, two, so two Soul Shards. Okay, so, I need some Pewter. One, two, three. I need a Stick. So, one, two. I need the Unholy Symbol. And I think that was actually it. So, two Sticks this like that soul shards unholy symbol wait oh and tattered claw there we go all right cloth holy symbol stick stick pewter 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 uh soul soul and now we'll just make ourselves a stella so stellar stell stell i just thought there make ourselves one of those Come over here, enchant this with indestructible, and then add that onto our scythe right here. Oh god, I need 81 levels. Right. Um, well, by the looks of it, I am going to be waiting until I have 81 levels before I can actually add this scythe onto this one. Right. So, I'm going to end it there. Today, we became the, what, 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 the Grim Reaper? We're harvesting our so all the mobs' undead souls. We've upgraded our altar. We've also set up soul enchanting, which is actually pretty powerful. Like, the only thing is you need a ton and a ton of XP. To have, like, the best tools, you're going to need thousands of levels. And I don't know if there's a way to get that many levels in this pack, but I will find a way. If I have to create massive XP AFK farms, I will. But if you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I do stream over on Twitch as well, so if you want to go check that out, the link is down in the description. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed.